what do blokes need to do? I mean, where should we start? Uh, is, it, is it body language? Is it facial expressions? Okay, body language and the non-verbal communication is about 80% of it. Okay, so if you're saying something flirtatious and you've got really awkward body language and you're, you know, your eye contact's really nervous and shifty, then that's all she's going to hear. She's going to feel that you're uncomfortable, which means that you're going to be uncomfortable in bed probably. So it's about 80%, as I said, you know, it's, it's a huge chunk of it is non-verbal, but also what you say. I mean, um, just being like quite playful and cheeky and cocky can actually be a great way to help you escalate and turn it more flirtatious. If you're a very serious person and you start flirting, it can feel a little bit intense. But I suppose if 20% of it is verbal, then humour is part of that, is it? It can be. If you show your like more playful side, because a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm just a very serious kind of guy and I, I'm, I haven't got that kind of side to me. But you do have to show some sort of aspect of that side of your character. Um, and you'll find that it's a lot easier from there, like that kind of playful banter to then escalate it into saying something a little bit cheeky and flirtatious. And then that's like the first stage. And then you can say it with more intent. I see. Uh, and what would that be like? Can I buy you a coffee or something like that? Can I buy you a coffee is not flirtatious. But can I buy you a coffee is just a question. Like, can I buy you a coffee? Yeah, you're showing that you are interested for sure. We're not talking about that here. We're talking about flirting, which is escalating. It's taking it from platonic to something more seductive. So, for instance, just saying to a woman, a great line would be, like, if you can't think of, like, a really bespoke kind of compliment for her, then just by saying, you know what, now I know why I'm drawn to you, or now I know why I find you incredibly attractive. Now I know. Just saying that makes it feel kind of like it's just spontaneous, even though it's not. <laughs> oh, and what, if, if I want to sort of be, I mean, I, I don't, because Mrs. Dolan is currently watching, and she'll agree that there's no need for flirting in my life. And it would happen over her dead body. But, I mean, let's just imagine hypothetically that I was single, which after this chat I may well be. Um, <laughs> what do I need to do with my face? I mean, imagine I'm looking at, uh, perhaps I'm in a bar and you're an opposite member of, of you know, the species of, of, of uh, another gender. And I, I kind of look over to you and I, is it sort of like, like that? No, that's cheesy. That's cheesy. Okay. How about, I would never how about teach my kids to be cheesy, okay? It's it's not, you don't grin. You just look at a woman, okay? You hold that eye contact for a second, and then you go for it. You don't start hovering around like a mosquito. You go for it, okay? Because if you show any nerves or that you're unsure, she will just think of you as like an awkward guy who's just like another nice guy that's just not playing to win.